This is my third attempt to fix this swing arm issue with my Ice Bear 125. Uh, I've tried, this will be my third time, so I'll let you know what I started out first. Um, the area in these bushings that is just so small, um, they're just a little bit of slop, but it's, it's really not enough that you can shim it. So the first thing I tried was tra taking some braided wire and putting a few strands of that in there to take that up. And that, of course, didn't hold up uh, well at all. That, that was worn out in no time at all. Then I went ahead and replaced the bushings with the factory bushings off of the original Honda CT70. And, and those are much better and tighter. But there's still just a little bit of slop in there. And when you figure that back going across the swing arm, it gets to be quite a bit back on the tire. And I just wasn't happy with it. And so what I've attempted to do, and we'll let you know how it turns out, uh, not, uh, uh, don't use JB Weld a lot, but in this case and in certain instances, uh, uh, it's just the ticket. So I went ahead and mixed up some JB Weld and first uh, cleaned the inside of these bushings real well and then took this uh, Q-tip and worked a, a good amount of it in there and, and twisted it around, that type of thing. And right after I did that, I stuck the bolt in there as far as I got the, to the shank and then pulled it out and then went around and did the other side as well. So there's now just a little bit of JB Weld uh, on the inside of these bushings. I'm waiting for that to set up. I think that's gonna be just enough to, to take that slop out of it. I hope so anyway. Um, it was okay when I put the new bushings in, but I, I just wasn't happy with it. And so uh, I'm hoping the JB Weld will take up just that little bit of slop. So we'll see how it goes. Um, before I put it back together, after this all sets up, I'm going to just try the bolt in it and see how it, how it feels. If I have to, I'll mix up another set of JB Weld and, and do it again to get another layer in there. But um, I, I'm hoping that the third time's the charm. So we'll see. This turned out real well. Uh, I put one coating in there and... When I put the bolt in, there's just not hardly any slop at all. And uh, same way on the other side. I was going to put two coatings in, but I thought I'd try one first just to see. And now these are the replacement bushings that I had ordered. So if you're, and they were tighter than the factory bushings that came on the car. So, or excuse me, on the bike. So if you're using the factory bushings you're using the JB Weld, um, you might have to put a couple of coats. Better to have um, uh, too little than too much. But actually when I put this in all the way, I actually have to force it to go through. So it is nice and tight in there. So just a little bit of JB Weld. I think it's going to work just fine. Whoa. Take another look when I get it installed on the bike. Okay, I've got that uh, reinstalled and we'll get the wheel and such put on it, but just no shake at all or very little there. So that JB Weld uh, works just perfect for this repair. Okay, I've got everything reinstalled now, and it used to be, when I'd have it up on the stand and hold the, I, I'd get a eighth to a quarter inch of play there, and you can see it's moving the whole bike now. So uh, I, I, that repair worked real good. I'm satisfied with that. Uh, the only thing I would tell you is if you do decide to do it, you want to use a very thin layer of JB Weld in those bushings and right after you put it in give it a good coating so it's all around then push the bolt 
through the, the bolt that you took out of here uh, so that you can clear out any excess. And then you want to have some a rag and some carburetor or parts cleaner and clean any excess JB weld off of that bolt uh, just to make sure you don't have anything, especially in the thread, so you can reuse the bolt. But uh, it worked out real good. I think that's going to be a satisfactory repair. I, I just didn't like that play that was in it. And now I've gotten rid of that. Um, like I say, I haven't used JB Weld a lot, but everything I read on it says, especially in an application like this, should hold up for years. It's, it's just more of a, a spacer than anything else. Of course, uh, it says let it drive 24 hours before you try and uh, assemble anything or put that bolt back in it. But uh, should work very well.